Hey guys, Zul'jin here and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders. I hope you all are having a wonderful day today. We have just gotten to the new area here and it's all dead and desolate and we found out that this one princess statue is apparently keeping this small area lit. So there's a few things that we'll need to look into. I wonder how, how far the light goes. I think it's just this far. Okay, it changed now. So it does go a little bit further. I think it's right here. Okay, so the transition is a little bit bigger than just where the grass is. Which is actually very, uh, that's very uh, reassuring. So we do have a little bit of space to build here. Um, let's start gathering up a few materials that we'll need for healing. We're also going to have to look into some food. Although I don't see any of that yet. What does this yield? Nothing. You can just kind of break it like that. Alright, I see. Um, I wonder if I have the recipe for a hammer yet. Let's see, we can build, uh, no, we can't, no hammers. Uh, we can build healing creams, which is good. We'll go ahead and build a few of those, just to get us by, you know. And it doesn't say, I mean, I don't know if I need to put a green orb down here. I don't know where I would need to put the green orb, but I know he just gave me one, so let's go up this, uh, this ivy here. Let's see what we got. Nothing. It's just basically just like a little lookout here. Alright, so let's take a look at what we got. Do you see that block right there? Oh, all the blocks look like that. It looks like a little... <laughs> it almost looks like a scythe. Oh, hey. There's a skeleton down there or something. Alright, I'll tell you what. Come back here, skeleton. I know I'm walking at you sideways, but... Skeleton! You don't see me up here? Oh, there you go. You see me now, huh? Alright. You can hit them pretty hard. Do you drop anything special? No, not yet. We'll probably have to kill a few of them to tell. Can we get sticks? We should be able to get sticks, right? The, the black ones just break. Okay, so we do obtain a broken branch here. No, you don't. I know how to fight. First pile of bones. Okay, so we can't break the trees at all yet. So we can craft a few sticks here. We still haven't seen chimeras for chimera wings, but we don't have a whole lot of recipes at all. Okay, and because I'm not really sure which way home is going to be, let's go ahead and pop down a, uh, a green teleport t um, <laughs> orb right here. That way we'll be able to get back and forth when we need to. And let's talk to uh, him again. Merlin. How now, Zul'jin, thinkest thou this land revival lieth with thy powers? Jeez, the words are real. There is little and less available here in terms of raw materials, naught but a collection of broken branches and the bones of men and monsters both. Nor is there any food to be found except the pangs of hunger are already needling at thine empty belly. I survive on what little nourishment I gain from the drifting mist. Here, allow me to share it with thee. Zul'jin's hunger meter is completely filled. If, er, if ever thou shouldest feel thirst, there is a spring close by, though thou wouldest need build a container of some sort to carry the water with thee. And I'm going to come up with... Okay, so we got a quest marker. That's good. How to make a horned rimmed bucket. Alright, very good. So let's do a horned rimmed bucket, which need, we need a huge horn. A huge horn, not a tiny horn. So I imagine we're going to have to fight something horned. Okay, so that up there looks like a slime, right? It sure does. That seems to be the landmark that we should probably check out. I don't have a whole lot of blocks. Let's see, can I break these just for dirt? I can. Block of ash. Wow, it is not easy to grab either. So dirt is going to be kind of few and far between here. We do have a few blocks. This is going to make pillaring a real nuisance. Okay, so we'll probably want to grab some of these 
ashen things here, like the vines and stuff, if we can even harvest them. So I did get some coarse cloth, that's good. Um, that might be one of the components for the armor. Even though basic, it's probably good if we can build that. So let's see here. Let's try to build uh, ragged rags. Very good. Just coarse cloth is all we need and we can get it from skeletons. Probably won't last real long, but I'll use it. Okay, and as far as cypress stick, we should build a second one just in case. It only takes one stick to build, so that's worth it as well. And we'll just fill up on the healing cream since we got a few sets of petals. Alright, so at least we have, we have a little bit to go here. Let us go look around a bit. So I think up here is, is going to be our first mission. I'll try to use my poor core skills as much as possible. <laughs> you see how excellent they are, right? Okay, this is all rock, so I'm going to need to place ash right below me to get up. There we go. What in the world is going on here? Is this rock? What material is that behind it? There's red blocks or something? Bloodstone. I don't know if I like the look of that, y'all. But I want to grab it. What if I need it, you know? Alright. Something tells me there's going to be ghosts here and stuff, too. I don't even know if it's worth grabbing all this stuff. But you know what? We need blocks to climb with and stuff anyway. And we don't have a bed. Well, I think there is a sleeping mat in town. I don't know if I should take that with me or just sleep. All right, let me grab the last bit of this stuff. All right, that's pretty good stuff to have. Since we're already up and about, I think we should at least take a peer around what we see on the outside of this. Okay, there's water there. I don't see any ghosts, which is actually pretty good. Typically, they're all over the place. This place is just barren and lifeless. Just lifeless. Alright, aha! Uh -huh. There's the spring. There's no giant horns of any type that I can see, or anything that would yield a giant horn. I do want to go there. But I don't think it's necessary to go quite yet. Let's let's stay on top of the mountain so we don't have to so we can look around with a little bird's eye view and avoid any potential danger down there. I don't know what kind of danger we have to face, but Okay, here's more water. Hmm. Alright. Maybe it is time to get down now. Ouch. Also, do we get... No, we don't harvest any of that when we try to break it. That's pretty interesting. Okay, what is that light over there? I'll tell you what. Let's check it out in order here. Ouch. More bones. Yeah, no ghosts, man. Okay, this is actually our place. <laughs> That's actually our place. So what was the other place that we saw? I'm not too sure. Well, let's head this way, though. Let's head this way. We don't need to sleep that bad. Since there's no ghost, I'm not really worried. Which, that might be the most awesome thing about this map. I'm pretty sure this is going to be bad stuff, too. Okay, a little far here. There's some graves. I do want to... No, I can't break those. All right, I will get the bonfire. Okay. There's another bonfire there. I see some bones over there. What a crazy place, y'all. What a crazy place. 
All right, these look like horns. Aha, giant horn. Okay, first huge horn. That's what we need. We can make we can grab a few of these in case they're used for weapons and stuff. And I did see some more over there. Oh, also there's a little bit of light coming from here. What is this? Just a little fire. Hmm. Nothing else seems to be there. Another fire there. Maybe it's like a trail leading me to different places that I should look. Or maybe it's this. This is the original area that I came in at, right? I can't break this, uh... I thought that was a torch. It's not, though. I can't break it without a hammer. It doesn't look like... Yeah, this is the way that I came from. So those were the fires that led me here originally. <laughs> I came at them from a different angle, so I didn't even expect that. There are some, uh, some more horns over here, though. So let's go and grab those just in case we need them. I don't know what we're going to need... Or how many buckets we'll need or whatever, but I'm gonna grab some. It wants me to revitalize the land, it said. There's a there looks like something over there. Wow, look all the horns over here. Okay, so it's not like it's a limited resource. I think I'm overthinking it. So what's up with this? What is up with this? Anything happens when I break this? No. Can I break this? No. Nothing. So this looks like you know, this is in pretty close proximity of the other, um, the other establishment. In Dragon Warrior 1, the two, uh, the two castles were really, really close to one another. Like, the Dragon Lord's castle and the regular castle. So what did... Oh, okay. So I got a little bit of cloth. What in the world is going on here? There's a letter on top of the crate. It looks like it was written quite recently. I can't believe it. How unlucky can one man be? Just when I hear that the builders finally arrived and us humans are on the up again, I only end up getting swept out to sea and washed up here in this wasteland. I found a book near the spring that said to go up north and find out how to make holy water, but there's nothing here. I'm going to use the last of my strength to climb up to the top of the hill and see what I can see. The message ends there. Alright, so that was up top here. I'm guessing, I mean, he said north, and this is north that I'm heading, so let's just use a few of our blocks, I guess. Alright. Okay, so there is, like, a mountain over there. The music is just legendary right here, man. I could listen to this all day long. I've been getting into a lot of um, um, some great game OSTs. I play a lot of Gwent, so naturally, uh, the Witcher music is is pretty awesome to me. And there's a song called, um, I think it's The Scent of, wait, what's it called? Uh, the Scent of Pate, or The Aroma of Pate, or something like it's, I don't know, it's a weird name, but y'all. It is such an amazing OST. It's from The Witcher Blood and Wine, uh, which the whole the whole uh, playlist of that is is insane. If you ever want to hear some good music, um, one of my favorites naturally is the OST from um, Ultima Online, like all of the old songs from Ultima Online and Final Fantasy X, like things like Xanark and of course Chrono Trigger. <laughs> All the old classic favorites that people l l love as well, you know, Metroid, uh, Red Sand, um, what's the name of, um, Chrono Trigger, and, uh, ah, oh, what's the old one, um, uh, Final Fantasy 1, 2, Mega Man 2 is also good, there was so much, Final Fantasy 2 II and 3, <laughs> oh man, such good, good, good music in gaming, unbelievable. All right, so we do have horns here. We should just be able to go to our little crafting table and make this up. All right, build. Horn-rimmed bucket. What do we need? Broken branches. No problem, man. No problem. Horn-rimmed bucket. Horn-rimmed bucket. Okay, so now what do we do to get water? Horn-rimmed bucket... This is the only water. 
first scoop of water. But we need something different, huh? Uh, he's gonna refill my hunger. That's pretty neat. Okay. How that's recovered a method to restore life to this ruined land. The nearby spring might be a suitable place to begin thy quest. It is the only source of pure water and hereabouts. If thou wishes to bring some back with thee, why not try a horn rim bucket for some broken branches? However, there is more to a spring of w than water alone. I also s speed an interesting old book lying by its banks. That was the place that we saw earlier when we had crossed over, so we need to find that again. We need to find that again. I think that's it over there. Let's see if the skeleton's not stalking me. Nope. We're good. This is the pure water. Right here. Okay, here we go. First scoop of pure water. I might as well grab a little bit of this while I'm here. Or, okay, that's just regular water, right? Yeah, this is pure water. I doubt if I can break this with anything. I'll just grab a little bit since I can get regular. I can pick this up. That's nice. Filter fountain. How about this? Can I... Okay, I can't crack this open. I can grab these, um... These things, though. I might have to discard something. Uh, let's discard these bones. Bones seem like they'll be easy to get. Still haven't found any uh, witchy, witchy calls, too. Uh, maybe I'll just read this. Okay, the book is titled The Passage to Tanit Gale, Volume 5. Would you like to read it? Yeah, we'll read it. How many years have passed since I departed my hometown of Cantlin? I know not. But at long last I have arrived at the land of Tantagale, which was once the capital of all Alefgard. Sadly, it is no more. Though I am yet far from Tantagale Castle, already the reek of death and despair is unbearable. With the Dragonlord's Castle just across the water, uh-huh, that would would seem the lands have been worse affected by the demon's curse. Tis a happy accident that this filter fountain escaped his unholy wrath. I can refill my flask and continue my journey. All around here is the contaminated by the curse, but anyone with so much as a bucket may draw sweet clear water from around about the fountain. Rumors tell me, rumors tell it that it was left here by a scholar who hoped to use its purifying powers to bring back life to this land. He dwelt in the hermitage to the north of this place, where he conducted research in the formulation of holy water. That's our our boy, uh, Merlin. <laughs> if thou who readest this message does intend to rid the land of the curse, I bid thee investigate this scholar's abode. And mean I, meanwhile, will continue on every breath I take of this ashy air is harder uh, than the last, but I do not have long remaining to reach my destination. Sir Reginald Augustus Grains, Cantland Brigade of Guards. A new quest marker has appeared on the icon. And I'm pretty sure that's just home, right? You know, I really don't want to fight, guys. I know y'all want to fight, but... So messy. I knew this was going to be a fight. Alright, well, at least I got a little bit of materials from it. Alright, I should have the quest filled out now. Thou hungered? Yes. Okay. I did get all of that. Huh. I did. Blighted land, red tanta gel. It's funny that I kind of just dodged a thing. Maybe we can just put this, this filter fountain in the water here? Maybe not. That was not the quest. Okay, I guess we're going to have to continue. I figured he would just have updated the quest, but 
Okay, first block of earth. I don't want to use any of that right now. Actually, let's just put that up. Alright, we'll continue along. Actually, let's sleep. And we'll go where the quest... You can only sleep in a proper room. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. We, we got this fixed up. Okay, builds a room. Now I can sleep. Also, I just noticed there's torches on the floor, too. I don't think I need the torches for anything, but I want to pick it up just in case it unlocks a recipe that I don't have. I can't pick up the torches in here. Alright, fair enough. <laughs> we don't need light that bad. Alright. Quest marker it is. This is kind of the place I was before. Try to just avoid fights for now. I wonder what that flag is for. This is the place that we were a little bit earlier, right? Yeah, there's another one right there. So this is the spot? I have no idea. Maybe it's underground? It doesn't look like it. Does it? What am I missing here, y'all? Am I just not seeing something? The quest, okay. There's nothing that I can press X on right here. <laughs> nope. Anything that I can use for the filter fountain? What if I just push the fountain right here? No, it doesn't make any water. Cypress stick falls apart. I'm glad I had made another one. I'm confused on what to do right here. I guess it's obvious and I'm just not seeing it. Maybe if we do... This is definitely a crafting component. So what if I use my horn rim bucket right here? Nothing. Okay. What if I use the pure water thing right here? I get pure water right there too. So we can get it just about anywhere. I really don't know what this quest marker is pointing to. I'll tell you what, let me just go get a bird's eye view up top. There has to be something I'm just missing. If there is, <laughs> it's not too obvious. It is not overly obvious, man. Nothing in this little pit. How would we revitalize water? What happens if we just use the pure water? Can we press X? No. So I can't just press square here and do anything with this. Like nothing really happens. Hmm. Ouch. I am at a bit of a loss, you guys. Yeah. Old Zuljan's lost. <laughs> I'm gonna take another look at the quest. I talk to old boy. I have to fight a few of these things. See what he says. Let's do this pure water in here too, just in case. I'll put it right next to it. Nope. Still can't do anything with that. Let's do... Let's use the horn rim bucket. No. 
Let's use the pure water. Can't use the pure water. It doesn't give me an option to use anything on this. Alright. Well, let's go back to our... Um, go back to our, uh, our little homestead. And read the quest one more time. And see if it's something that I just overlooked through reading. Or through not reading. Or not comprehending. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. I went through it a couple times, but I don't see any caves or any lights or anything that's overly obvious. Okay, if we could revitalize this land. How about this too? Can we build anything that I didn't see here? No. The horn rim bucket and that is the only thing. Um, let me just save too. All right, let's speak to him one more time. Yes, give us our hunger back. Thank you. How goes the duty? Has thou discovered a method to restore life to this ruined land? The nearby spring might be a suitable place to begin thy quest. Tis the only source of pure water whereabouts. If thou wishes to bring some back with thee, why not build a horn rim bucket for some Wait, from some broken branches. However, there is more to the spring than water alone. It's also espied an interesting old book lying by its banks. Mayhap it contains some information that would be of use to thee. Would that, with that I had the power to read, I could tell thee more with sultry? I don't know. I bid thee, go Zuljin, and find a means to revive this blighted land and rid Tantigale of the darkness. So, it's like, it's almost like I need a crafting bench to be able to make this because I have pure water, I have water, the notes, it's just, it's nothing. Maybe I should have picked up the book when I was there, I don't know guys, but I'm gonna mess a little bit off camera with this to try to find out how. And if you guys have any tips that I haven't read already, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear it. Thanks so much for watching, guys. As always, this is Uljin signing off, and we'll see you next time.